Hey, this is Coach Adrian, and welcome to day three. So as usual, gonna get your body nice and warm before we get into the routine. Another fantastic routine for you. So let's plant your feet, brace those abs, shoulders nice and relaxed, and I want you to circle the arms backwards. We're just gonna spend the first minute or so just to mobilize your body before we just raise your heart rate a little bit. So big circles, that reach your arms up nice and high, and we'll just start to use this to open up your chest, open up your shoulders, and wake up that upper body. That's it, lovely. Give me another couple. So go one more time. And then what I want to do is bring both arms up at the top. We're going to go into a squat swing. So as you squat, I want you to keep your head and your chest up for me. So we're looking straight forward. And just swing your arms past your legs. So just swinging through, coming up, swinging through, and coming up. And it's only a little squat. You don't need to go too deep just yet. Just use this just to wake up your legs. Kind of get your thighs moving a little bit. And just move the body. Lastly, give me two more. And the last one, lovely, bring the arms back up, we're going to circle them back again, get reach up nice and high, like I said, it's all about opening up your chest and shoulders, really loosen up the upper body, that's it, lovely, first exercise when we get into the routine, we'll be working your whole body, so it's going to work your shoulders straight away, yay, so that's important, we wake everything up, give me three, give me two, give me one, again, take both arms up nice and high, come into that squat, so you're sitting through, and letting the arms just swing past your body and then raise them back up nice and high. Again, if you want, you can always start the squat a little bit deeper. We've got plenty of time just to really loosen out your body here. Lovely. Give me two more and we're going to start to raise your heart rate. So we're going to go into a pet jack. So from here, bring your forearms together and you can go into your half jack where you tap your toe from side to side. And give those forearms a nice big squeeze or go into your full jack. So we go both legs. Both arms at the same time. So whichever one you want to go with, it's a great exercise, like I said, getting the squeeze on the chest. And also opens up your shoulders, gets your back moving a little bit as well. I mean, like I said, really get your upper body ready for the first exercise. Definitely keeping the legs going though. Not letting them let uh, off the, uh, the warm up. Give me three, give me two, and then the last one. I want you to go into your butt kick, so we're gonna give the front of your legs a stretch. Wake up the back of the legs. So staying nice and tall, you can step or you can go into your jog. So if you're going into your jog, again, you don't even kick your bum, just aim in that direction. You're just staying nice and light on the feet. But keep the arms running, always moving the arms as well. And this way, we just make sure we're moving as much of the body as we can in the warm up to get it really ready for the routine. That's it, nice and light, nice and light. Let's have a few more seconds. So keep running out. Three. Two, and we're going to stretch the arms out again on the jacks. This time we go both arms out in front of your chest. And we go again either into your half jack, tapping the foot to the side, or again both feet. Arms are longer this time. You can see them right out in front of my chest, just increasing your lever length. So it starts to really open up your upper body nice and strong again. And just set into your own rhythm. Doesn't have to be fast. Just take it at your own pace. Just keep your body moving. That's the most important thing. Give me 10 more seconds, and then we're going to move on to the next pairing, just to finish off the warm-up, lovely, three, two, and one, excellent. So we're going to plant the feet, head and chest stays up, I want you to come into your squats. So just waking up the legs there, just sitting into the squat, head and chest, keeps looking straight at me, and we just sit straight down, straight up. And this is where it starts to really get your legs working now. Those big powerful thigh muscles, we want to work them. That's it, nice. And then give me two more. And then on the last one, I want you to sit down in nice and deep. Need a little bit of space. We're going to place the hands down on the floor. Walk it down into a little plank. A little pause here, squeezing your belly and your bum. Walk it back. Tip your head up. Chest comes up. But we stay low and then we walk it back out again. All the way down. Little pause. Walk it back. Lift your head. Lift your chest up and then go again. Take your time on this one. It's not about speed, we'll finish off with this one. That's it, bring it back into those squats for me. So again, it's not a speed drill, just to make sure we're really waking up the arms, the shoulders, it gives the abs a little bit of a, a wake up call as well. Love it, again, sit into those squats, nice and strong. So feel your legs moving, feel them waking up. Fantastic, go three, go two, and then go into that last one. Brilliant, let's walk it out here. We're only doing about three of these. Sit into the squat, walk it down, 
Hold that plank, so you always give it a break, so I'm not letting the hips drop. Holding strong, walk it back, tip your head and your chest up, and then walk it back out again. Little pause, brace the abs, lovely. Little tip up, and we're gonna do one more. All the way down, little pause, and then bring it back up. Fantastic. So as soon as you're ready, what I want you to do is grab your kettlebell. So again, bend your knees as you lift it. We're gonna grab the horns, and we're gonna start in a squat press. So it's legs through the shoulders. We've done the two moves separately. We're gonna put them together. So you're gonna hold the kettlebell in front of your chest, squat down, and then we press it up back to your chest, and then we take the squat. So like I said, the two moves we've done on a previous workout, but we're gonna put them all together. So you ready? Elbows in nice and tight. So pinch the side of your body with your elbows. Good deep squat, nice strong shoulder press. So what I want you to focus on here, as you squat, sit back into it, and as you can see my head, Always looking straight forward. So we're looking after our posture and then nice strong arms as we push the kettlebell straight to the top. So legs are strong, abs are strong as we reach up. Woo. And it's a big full body start. It's a big move to start. Really getting everything working straight on this first exercise. Oh, lovely. Let's have two more. Big reach and then one more. Fantastic. Now from there, bring it down, we're going to go into the swing. Grab the handles, again, head and chest stays up. Kettlebell comes back between your legs and punch your hips forward. Now we just need to raise the kettlebell to around about the top of your head high. Don't need to go any higher, that's high enough, but nice and strong. Using your hips to thrust and power that kettlebell up. As you can see from the side, nice and strong. That's a big powerful movement. Time to get the back of your legs working. Give me three, two, and then that last one. Fantastic, well done. So what we're gonna do from here, now you can put your kettlebell down for this. This is a chest press jack. So we're gonna take the jacks with the legs. So you've got your half jack or your full jack. And if you wanna add the uh, extra little challenge, as the legs go, we press the kettlebell out in front. Okay, you don't have to, you can always hold it on the chest. But I'm just going to give you a little option of a challenge, and that could be here. Okay, this is a toughie. I'm not making this one easy. So bracing those abs, working the arms and shoulders, and we are going to pick up Ooh, your heart rate nice and strong now. That's it, good. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Ooh, we've got a few more seconds. Four, three, two, and one, lovely. Oh, so we should have felt that on the arm. So we give the kettlebell a bit of a rest. We're going to come down into a high plank position. So stretch out your mat for us. And we're going to go down into a full plank to start off with. Okay, so hands on the shoulders. Fingers are facing forward. I want you to go high plank on the toes as much as you can. So we're setting that position up. Head stays looking down, so keep your head looking down just in front of your hands. Hold that high plank. Now if you need to, come to knees, but I want you to start in that position. And like I said, if you start to feel it, just change position. But if not, whew, we've got another 10 seconds. Keep breathing, nice and strong now. Last few seconds, we've got one more exercise to finish. Three, two, one, lovely. So from there we're going to flip over and we're going to do a floor press. Now we've done this exercise already, but we're adding a little tweak to it, okay? So we're going to come onto your back again, grab the horns. So we've done the one where we crunch and press at the same time. This time we want you to hold the arms out so that in front of your chest, kettlebells already up, then we're going to do the press. And again we're reaching to the ceiling, so we're not reaching over your knees here. We want you to hold the kettlebell up, Look straight up, and then reach straight up as well each time. As you come up, give those abs a lovely little squeeze. So you come up, crunch, gently back down again. Crunch, and down. Okay, this is your final exercise before we start the routine again. So we've got a few more seconds here. Now I'm really feeling those abs working now. Really big push. Reach up. Whew. See when you squeeze in. Maybe four or five more seconds, just a couple more reps. And then go one more. That last 
last one's always worth it. And gently down, lovely. So place the kettlebell down, move the mats out of the way, get ready again. We go straight into your squat press. So we're gonna start your routine again. Okay, so again, grab a hold of the horns. Set your feet right here with the part. As soon as you're ready, you come down, squat, nice and strong, big shoulder press in here. So now we know the five moves. What I want you to do is just work maybe a little bit stronger here, and we can move a little bit quicker from one exercise to the next. Whew. So again, really sitting in, reaching up. Feel your arms, feel your shoulders. We want to put them in a bit of overtime now. Whew. Nice, and again. Oh. And two more. Lovely, that last one. Beauty, well done. Bring it down into that swing. And again, let the kettlebell sit between your legs. Head and chest stays nice and high. Take the kettlebell back. And remember using your hips to control the kettlebell. So it's snapping those hips forward, punching them forward. That's going to generate the power to lift the kettlebell up. That's it, nice. And keep that focus nice and strong. So keep swinging. Let's see what we can get at a little bit more here. Let's go 10 more seconds. So again, working the legs, working the back side, nice and strong. And one more rep. Fantastic, well done. And I want you to flip the kettlebell up. Now again, this is your jacks. It's not a very nice one. So half jack, full jack, and then the extra option if you want is to press the kettlebell. And as you can see, it just goes straight out from my chest and straight back again. So it's not going up or down, it is just straight out. It should be pretty horrible on the arms and shoulders. Ah, that's a big pickup on the heart rate as well. It's a big move. So we've got a few more seconds here. Nice and strong. Four, three, two, and lovely one. Fantastic. So it's playing time. So let's get that mat down again. Challenge that high plank position for me. So hands again under shoulders. Set it up nice and strong. We step back. Brace. Squeeze your belly. Squeeze your bum, holding nice and strong for me. And we just breathe while we're there. Whew. Chance to get the breath back a little bit here, okay? Nice and strong. Lovely. And again, knees are there if you need them. If not, we just keep holding. Whew. 10 seconds. Floor press next. So this is where we start to work the abs now. Should be thin and working. That's a good thing. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Fantastic. Well done. So we're going to flip over. Ooh. Taking that floor press. So again, come onto your back feet on the floor. Knees are bent. Taking the arms up nice and high. So the kettlebell, again, directly above your chest. As we sit up, we get that nice... Big reach up into the air. Big squeeze on those abs each time. Oh, that's good. So nice and strong. Oh. That's fantastic. Well done. I'm going to go for three, two, and then that final one. Brilliant. So we place the kettlebells down. And we're going to bring it to your feet. Now we're going to have a little finish on the end of this one. So if you want to grab a quick drink, now's a good time. And get a little bit of water down. So we've got a little bit of a challenge for the end of this workout. So any short workout today, and we're going to add a little challenge, two exercises. We're going to start jumps and press ups, okay? Now we're going to do them twice each, and we're going to aim for around about 20 seconds on each exercise. So with the kettlebell on the first one, I'm going to give you two options. We drop down feet together, we jump, Take the legs out into a little star and then land back with your feet together. So just bend the knees, come up and down, okay? Head and chest stays up, kettlebell stays on the chest. Second option is we squat and raise one leg at a time. So you've got the non jumping option. Then we're going to go down to press ups and we're going to repeat this twice. Little challenge at the end of the set for you. So you ready? Drop down low, star jumps, let's go. 
So keeping the arms just in front of your chest and you've got the jump option or just squat, raise the leg, squat, raise the other leg. Whew. Two more. And last one. Lovely. So place the kettlebell down. Let's set up press up position like I said. We're about 20 seconds. Just want you to finish with two big moves where we really get everything working hard. And twice as well, yeah. Not just once. So set your press up position up. Knees are always there for you, okay? But if you've got one full presser on your toes, I want you to do it, then drop to knees. So you always challenge that one. Okay, ready? Chest comes down and hips down in one motion. So it's all the way down, all the way up. Just 20 seconds, but finish it with the whole body again. Working super hard here. Oh, I'm going to do two more reps. Then we're back on your feet. Last one. Nice. So let's come back into that star jump. Last time. Yeah. We don't need to do more than this. So one more time through. So again, find your position. Flip the kettlebell. Again, half jack with the leg raise. Uh, half the uh, star jump with the leg raise. Or go full star jumps. Spring up. Holding nice and strong. And I said, this is where you really start to feel your legs working hard now. Big move to finish. 10 more seconds. And two more. Last one. Woo. Press up position. Place your kettlebell down. Last time. Set your press ups up for me. Oh. And again, if there's one on the toes, you've got to do it. Let's go straight work. Oh, my well, legs are still burning. So again, chest and hips come right down, right back up again, nice and strong. What was a lovely little challenge for the end of the set. And that last little push. Two more. And then last one to finish. Oh, fantastic. So bring yourself to your feet once you're ready. Grab a drink if you need. Take a little moment. Have a little breather. Challenge and finish at the end there. So just take a little drink in. Oh, that's it, just shake your legs out. So in your space, you've got, just move about a little bit. Just shake your legs out, and just bring your heart rate down. It's a big finish at the end. All right, let's get your legs stretched out. So find some space, heels down, toes pointing forward, lean onto your front leg. So feel that calf stretch, okay? Oh, a tough one on the legs to finish. So let's get a good leg stretch out. So from calf, we step up again. Can you use a water chair? We go heel up on thigh stretch. So feel on the front of your legs. Oh, big work, so feel that stretch. Same leg, we drop it down. If front hands come onto your supporting leg, and we stretch out the back of the thigh. And change over our side, so again, heels down. So just point forward, lean onto your front leg, go calf stretch, and just lean it forward. Hold that stretch nice and strong. And then from calf stretch again, step up. Here a bum, thigh stretch. Get a big finish with those jumps at the end, those star jumps. So really important, we get a good leg stretch, really loosen that thighs. And then we drop that foot down in front, hands onto your support leg. And again, feel the stretch in the back of the thigh. Lovely, and then we come up from there, we better open up the chest. Yeah, from your squat press at the start. Oh, wait right till you press up to the end, which just gets into the shoulders, but a good stretch to really open up your chest. Really feel it. Lovely, link in front. Chin goes down into your chest, and we're taking your back stretch. Fantastic, and what I want to do is give me a little shake out. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. So that's workout number three done. So I hope you enjoyed that nice little challenge at the end as well there. Just to kind of really get the body working hard. Two big moves. It's a good way to finish. <laughs> well, hopefully it's a good way to finish anyway. Anyway, until day four, live life, live healthy, and I shall see you then.